What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jamal Labiati and we're back again for yet another YouTube tutorial. This one's gonna be an easy one, it's gonna be quick and I'm gonna get right to it. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to do the tape stop effect. Yes, the record stop effect. You can use this on your voice, you can use this on beats, you can use this on samples, you can use this on anything to make your beats more interesting, okay? Or whatever audio you're doing more interesting, all right? If you find this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we subscribe, hit the notification button so you can see my weekly upload. And if you're a producer, make sure you check out my website, jamalabiati.com, and purchase some sample packs and some drum kits. But enough of all that, let's get into this video. Let's get into it. This is going to be a quick video. This right now, we're using an audio sample. And when you do this trick, it's for audio sample. So if it's MIDI, convert it to audio. Um, so it's an audio sample. That's what it sounds like. And down here, we want to just make make it do a slow down, zoom, like the classic slow down effect, you know, uh, like the DJs do and all that kind of stuff. So if we start it, start from the beginning, it's going to look like this. So you have to make sure you open your inspector window. So go to this corner, left, top left, hit the I, open your inspector window. Hit, hit this drop down, this triangle for the drop down, boom. Now for your window, this is probably going to say more. It's still going to be, you still need to drop it down some more. So hit the more, boom, drop down. All right, cool. You have fade in and fade out. We're going to go to fade out, but we're going to change it to slow down. All right. So you're going to change it to slow down. So when we're doing this, make sure that you're, um, when you do this, make sure this blue is highlighted when you do it. So look, you, you click it again, boom, highlight it. It goes to slow down. So it's, you know, when it's click over here, it goes back to normal. When you click this, is that slow down? Now is that slow down? All you have to do is drag this. And make it go up so if, if i make this bigger you can see this orange move so the higher i drag it look how much it's moving and the more i drag it down look how much more it's moving so i'm just dragging it or you can double click it put a number in 500 boom and all this is saying all you put this number mean the higher it goes is where it starts at so if let's say make it a little small let's say i want to start slowing down at the two i'll be a lot but i'll drag it up high i'm, I'm, I'm just dragging it and it'll start at the two, around the two. And actually, I can bring it down a little bit uh, right here. So let's just see how it sounds. So it's going to be a slow one. This is actually going to be a slow one, so I don't want to do that. But let's do, let's go to 500. Boom, boom, 500, slow down. Boom, so boom, that easy. Now, let's go back to, uh, I think it was at 2,000. It's going to slow down even slower. Boom, so let's, let's hear how it sounds. cool look at that it's just that easy and also to customize your tape stop or your slow down you can mess with the curve the curve goes to 99 up or 99 down so if it's 99 positive it makes the loop, loop more introverted to the left and if it's 99 negative it goes up more so this is how 99 negative loop sounds so it's a little different and this is how 99 positive loop sounds so, and you could do, or you could do somewhere in the middle, you know, 34. But just as simple as that, that's how you use the tape stop, you guys. So go use this, use it on your vocals, use it on your beats, your samples, whatever. Be creative and have some fun. Just like that, a simple, easy, quick tip tutorial for Logic Pro. If you guys want more tips and tricks, just comment below and let me know what kind of video you guys will want next, all right? Until next time, I'll see you next week, all right? Chill.